Hey guys, Chris Lopez from kettlebellworkups.com, RKC Certified Kettlebell Instructor, Certified Turbulence Trainer, and I'm going to show you how I like to try to keep my shoulders relatively strong. One of the best things to do uh, when you're trying to press a heavy kettlebell is to just be able to accommodate that bell and teach yourself how to hold it overhead. And one of the best ways that I've found to do that is to do a push press and then a get down. And basically a push press allows you to use your legs to generate momentum to get that bell over your head. And then from there we're doing almost a half portion of a Turkish get up where we're getting down and kind of touching down on the ground and coming back up. What that does is that allows us to keep our shoulder uh, and move our arm through various positions just to increase the stability. So let me show you what I mean. I've got a, this is a 24 kilogram kettlebell, which means it's the heaviest kettlebell in my gym has, so we're going to use this for now. Just imagine that's a 32 or a 36 if you're at that level. And so what we're going to do is we're going to clean the kettlebell up, and then from here we'll push press it and just get it up above our heads. So now I'm locking my shoulder in place and I'm holding my lat in place. I'm going to stand with my feet together and really brace my abs. And then from here, we're going to do the bottom portion of the Turkish get up. So I'm going to step back and then windshield wiper my back leg, keep my eye on the bell, and I'm going to hold. And then from here, I'm going to pack my shoulder, holding it down and back on both sides. And you'll notice that I'm completely vertical from the top of my right hand where the bell is to the bottom of my left. I'm going to hold here for five, four, three, two, and one, really focusing on squeezing my shoulder blades together. And then from here, back up, and then stand up. And then from here, you can either go back down again, or you can bring the bell down, and then re-clean it and do another rep or do a rep on the other side. So that's one of the better ways that I like to use to keep my shoulder healthy, to kind of teach myself to accommodate more weight, and to really strengthen my upper back for great shoulder health. So it's all it is is get that bell up as best you can, either through a push press or a military press, and then drop back down into that half get up, and then right back up, and you're moving your shoulder through various positions while you're accommodating that bell. Make sure to head over to kettlebellworkouts.com and download your free metabolic resistance training workout.